Yo, what up? Be okay and this motherfucker's gonna be okay and this motherfucker. Like, comment, subscribe, share, just like, do all that, do something, but show some love. Y'all like my, uh, y'all, y'all like my, uh, like, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I just don't feel like putting that back up, like, you know, talk to you. But anyway, look, so check this out, right? Um, you gonna get people who just only want your energy, right? So, what I'm getting at is, right, you're gonna get people who, um, they gon' they gon' ask you for some money, or they're gonna ask you for your shoes, or they're gonna ask you for your socks, or your blunt, or your car, or your literally your stuff, right? But there will be another person around, and they won't ask them for nothing. But they're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it simply because they want to feed off of your energy. So they know that whether okay, so you could have. Um, Y'all could be in the same boat, you and this other person, whatever the case may be, right? But they know that on a subconscious level, they know that your energy is better. So you could be um, more efficient with your money. You could be uh, just consistent in general. You could be working out. You could be aiming towards something good in life, right? You're just consistent. Your energy is there, and it's more... They acknowledge your energy much more than the other person, even though it may not seem like it. They're gonna come to you for. Um, they're gonna come to you and praise you in certain ways, like right, like little small ways. But they're not gonna be upfront about it, and they're not gonna do the same thing for that other person. To that other person, they're not gonna acknowledge them because they know that their energy sucks. So. So, uh, and what they're going to do is if you don't want to keep giving them energy, they're going to make you feel bad, right? So let's say you don't come over to your people house or you stop coming over, right? Like I said, they're going to try to manipulate the situation and be like, oh, well, you know, that's messed up that you're doing that. Like, it's like, why are you trying to manipulate the situation so it could benefit you? You feel what I'm saying? Y'all got to be aware of these people just using your energy you gotta understand that a lot of people right especially in an older community right um they look at young people as a means of escape whether you believe it or not right so um i can see a young person going out or something they gonna ask them where you going what you doing what's what's up what's the deal you know what i'm saying as if they trying to get in on it you know what i mean but because they don't have any lies, you understand what I'm saying? They they want some energy. They need something to feed off of. These people are vampires. Most of the time, they sit in a house and they don't do nothing with their life. They don't care about nature. They don't care about helping the community. They just care about sitting down and watching movies. These people are literal vampires, right? Because they're just feeding off of energy, right? So you got to be aware of um, the manipulation tactics being used against you because... You could be manipulated so much that you are unaware of it and it, some, and, and you start to feel like you're damaging yourself after a while because you start to feel frustrated because no one is actually listening to you. So you could tell these people, okay, I feel like you're taking advantage of me. And then they're going to go into why what you're saying to them is wrong. You understand what I'm saying? So it's um, another form of manipulation and it's, an, it's a form of, um, what am I looking for? Um, not Gnosticism. Why am I thinking about Gnosticism? Um, I'm thinking about um, just this person feeling like they're entitled, right? So they're all about themselves. So everything has to be about them. I'm pretty sure y'all know what the word I'm looking for is, but I just can't think of it off the top of my head right now. Uh, that would be a... Um, what type of person would that be? Uh not an arrogant but a person who just full of themselves you know what i'm saying i just for some reason it's just not coming to mind right now um so moving forward right um when these people are all about sales right they're all about sales right so energy creates sales right 
you know what I'm saying? And if you have a lot of energy, you have a lot of sales, they need to, you know, sales break off and reproduce, right? So if you have sales, sales, energy, they're gonna come to you so that they can uh, reproduce their body quicker. So when you feel, okay, so laughter makes you feel better. If you have good energy, somebody's gonna come to you, laugh, and then they're gonna feel better in the inside. It's gonna replenish every skin particle in their body. You ever wonder why there's older people who look younger than you and you in your thirties or forties and they in their fifties because they sit there and use negativity to empower themselves. You understand what I'm saying? On a subconscious level, they're feeding their soul with some type of energy, whether it be positive or negative, it's still energy, right? Uh, negative energy never dies. Positive energy never dies. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to understand there's polarity in everywhere in the world you're never going to get anywhere where there is nothing negative happening you understand what i'm saying so that whole jesus and this is, is does not exist you understand what i'm saying there has to be order in every area of the world you feel what i'm saying or every area in our world you know what i'm saying whether that be the astro realm the the, the um, galactic uh, realm, the uh, etheric realm, whatever realm you are in, there has to be order, right? Um, with that being said, these people, you to get rid of these people, I don't recommend you to hit them with a backlash in a reality check because they sleep. They're not going to understand. They're going to fight you back. And it's going to look like you are in a hamster wheel. You're not moving forward. So just remove yourself from the situation. I'm not even going to stop talking to them. Like, literally. As bad as it may hurt. Like, it's going to hurt bad because you know these people. But as bad as it will hurt you, it's going to hurt you more to keep putting up with this. You feel what I'm saying?